Hello YouTube, coming to you with another video. Um, this is my work bag. I have to go through it because for some reason I become a hoarder. But it feels like it anyway. Um, so I'm going through it to check it since I'm off for a week or so. Um, since I travel and I literally live in one part of the state and go to another, as well as the fact I am from state to state, um, it's kind of nice that I keep certain things in my bag um, when I'm at the hospital. It's kind of nice. I like to keep gum in there. Just wear a mask all day. Ginger tea. I use this. Sometimes I have acid reflux lately as I've gotten older. I've had to change my diet to like a GERD diet. It's so no cheese. What little bit of fried stuff I eat, I don't eat anymore. Um, pretty much a bland diet. So I keep that in there as well as ginger candy, which this is the best. I don't like taking meds unless I absolutely have to. And I noticed the, an the antacid pills do not really work for me. They make me nauseous. So that works. That's what I keep in there. Back on my liquid diet so I won't be any snacks. Um, this is just to keep my sanitary napkins. Um, penny liners in. As well as body cloth wipes, which is nice to keep. Because, you know, if you do like 12, 16 hours at work, you know, the freshness starts to wear off. I mean, maybe it's just me. So I had to keep that in there, freshness. Altoids really good that's good too if you're nauseous or something because of the peppermint so it's good to have that um sometimes i do get nauseous um as well as licking salt works well if you're nauseous so like you know people always say eat saltines or have gatorade because it's got salt in it so that stuff's good to have so i put that in it so this is an ugg bag you know i am a ugg girl so put this just in a little slot there um i love lip glosses even though I wear a mask all day. I like to keep my lips hydrated. So that's some of that Brazilian kiss from um Sol what's it? Solgizona? Whatever it's called. So I keep that in there as well as two I think it's Gennaro. Sol Gennaro. I keep that in there as well as a couple of regular just other lip glosses. I like to have options. This one is by Minted and I love it because it smells like coconut and it's like not an overpowering smell and so that's nice to wear on your lips especially when you have a mask on so i actually thoroughly enjoy that since i'm off i have just press-ons on because you can't wear nails medical field hand sanitizer uh by myers clean miss myers this one's really good i like this one i can't remember the name of it oh lavender scent it's really nice Especially because the hotel I stay at is walking distance from my job. So it's nice once I press that button to cross the street, I can hand sanitize. Because let's be honest, I see people do nasty things. I see people with their nasty feet up there. And then some people look like they haven't bathed in who knows how long. So who knows what they have. Um, try to keep hand moisturizer in here as well. It's my other bag. I keep a nail file because I keep my nails as smooth as possible worse than a hangnail um eyeglass cleaner because my safety glasses I wear goggles all the time at work use a prescription so at least cost me a pretty penny almost six hundred dollars pretty nice you do not want any kind of blood or anything in your eyes i mean you could but you have to rinse it out which is a whole issue of paperwork and blood drawn um, I keep pins in my bag as well. Always have to be writing. Biofreeze. If you're a person that's on your feet all the time, this is your best friend. I keep the spray as well as the roll on as well as this. Um, I was having I had a meniscus tear this year. It's finally healed. So this was like a godsend. The rest of the my bag. There's more lip glosses in here. I keep mascara in here because sometimes my eyelashes want to become unruly. So sometimes I have to put mascara on. Get them out of my eyes. I don't like to, my eyes to be irritated. So this bag's pretty big, which I love. I keep my water bottle in here as well. Like I said, I like to have to repack it. Um, I like to keep uh, ponytail in here. I have a lot of hair, thick hair, so it takes more than one. So I keep 
couple of these because sometimes I do two ponytails. Plus I wear a scrub hat. This is one of my scrub hats, which needs to be laundered, so I will not be putting that back in the bag. This is my portable fan. I get warm often. So that goes in there. And in that this bag I have um my charger and a charger for that, as well as the charger for my taser. I do carry a taser because people in this world are crazy and they just want to get lit up. Just press on this. As you see, one came off. <laughs> it just popped off. I'm not going to put it back on because next week I go back to work. So they can start popping off. That's fine. More rubber band ponytail holders. I like the ones that are not uh, rubber band like because you just they're not they're not lock friendly. These are really nice. I keep these in there too. This is a Castile soap, which is nice to wipe your hands with, as well as more and and hand and um, hand sanitizer. So these are nice. These actually come out of Foley packs. <laughs> like if you're in the middle of OR, we don't really need those. So I keep those. I collect those. And they're good to wipe your dog's pads with. FYI. <laughs> Alcohol wipes. They are your friend. Sandy cloth. This is hospital grade. I keep these. Like my badge off. It's, and you don't know what's, you know, your badge has touched, so. I always wipe it off before, before I leave the hospital for the end of the day. Hand sanitizer wipes. I keep those. They're good to have, good to use. I say good to use. Let's not say have. Let's not just keep stuff, like use it. Um, just more personal wipes. Let's see. I have so much stuff in my bag after a while. I just have it. Another pen, pens because if you work with physicians, for some reason they never have pens. Some of them are pen hoarders, so you have to catch them. Like I will hunt you down for my pen. I'm like, uh, return my pen, please. It don't make any sense. So I keep an ace wrap in my bag because, like I said this year, I had a meniscus tear. Um, so it stayed in my bag. I think my knee is pretty good. I haven't had any issues the last few months, so I probably could take it out. What I'll do is keep it in my backpack that I bring with me when I stay at the hotel because it's nice to have. And because I'm away from home, it's easier just to keep certain things in my bag because you just never know what you might need and might not need. So these are my boyfriend's uh, business cards. He's a chef, just private gigs. But I got some in my bag, so I'm not going to. I'll put them in there. You know, he's talking about he needed some. Volunteer, so and this is another bag I have. This I have my vaccination card, all my boosters. Initially, when we started that way, but now everything's digital, so everything's on my phone now. So I probably don't need this bag. So I'm gonna have to go through it because I don't. And this is just another UGG bag, which I love. I'm a big fan of UGG. So I'm trying to part down because I don't want six million bags. Plus, I keep my water bottle in here. Oh, this is my taser. I want you to charge it. It stays pretty good charge for like a month or two. I haven't charged it lately, but let's see if it's dead or not. Nope, it still works. So, so I keep my charger and my um taser as well as it's a flashlight. On my keychain, I have my pepper spray. Which, if you don't know pepper spray, only lasts a few months. You have to change it out. So for me, it's easier to just have a taser. I keep some kind of oil in my bag because I wear sandals a lot or shorts and I don't want to be walking out of the hospital once I take my scrubs off all ashy. I mean, some people don't mind, but I don't mind. Okay, so this is a new thing I got. So the only thing I, other purses, bags I collect is Vera Wang, which I haven't lately. But this one I got just recently. I thought it was cute. So it's also like $35. So, which would be nice because sometimes it's nice to keep cash as well as coins. So, 
I'm going to put my coin in there. And then I think I'm going to take this bag because what I have is a locking tool in here for my lock. Sometimes if I feel like a lock needs to be tightened. I um, like to have access to my locking tool, which is this. I have several of them. Keep several in my car, my work bag, because I just, I like not to have, not to be without it. So I think I'm going to put this in here. I got a dollar bill in here. <laughs> uh, my other wallet has uh, more cash, but this is good enough. I think I'm going to keep this on here. And this would be nice if, if I decide, like, I need to bring cash to work on my card to work, because I need to stop by the supermarket when I get off. Then this is nice. It's a little wristlet, as well as I can take it off. You can see it has it, so this will be perfect. Let's see how long it lasts on here. It should be fine, though. I might keep it in the bag or something. For right now, it's going to hang. I'm not going anywhere. And this stuff, I think. Only other thing I think I'll keep is Zyrtec. Sometimes I do have an allergy reaction to something. Um, it's always like a surprise sometimes for me. Put that in my bag. And I think that's it, because this is just horrible and acid pills which i do not take i took one and like i said made me nauseous and then this is tea tree oil which i'm going to take out of my bag <sighs> so that is my bag let me turn around for you it looks so nice and it'll last like this for a couple of months and then time goes on i got the only thing i gotta put in here is socks because I wear Uggs all the time, and most of my Uggs do not require socks, so I don't wear socks unless I absolutely have to. And I was keeping Tums in my bag, because like I said, antacid was so bad. It's so, so bad. But I haven't had to take that a couple of months since I've switched to a GERD diet, which I said, no dairy and um, nothing fried. The only other thing I need to add is my inhaler, so I might get bronchitis. Had had it this year, not going wood. So this is another tea bag, ginger root tea. I tell you, those of you do not throw away. They are your friend. All right, so that is what is in my work bag. Thank you for watching. Please click to su subscribe. I'm trying to build up my uh, view viewers, subscribers. I mean, I'm up to 55. I started at 11. Ooh, you guys have a great day. Bye.